Hello everyone, so now we are about to sketch the logarithmic functions and then we will state its domain and the range afterwards. So now, let's go on to the first example. We have fx is equals to ln 2x minus 3. So first of all, kita akan mula dengan step 1 iaitu cari basic shape lah. Step 1. So step 1 is the basic shape. Who? Macam mana nak tahu basic shape dia, Miss? Ha, dekat sini lah di mana you must determine your x. Your x is positive x while your y is positive y. Do you know where are they going? Where are the graph is going? So as I said, y, ni kan y. Fx is y, right? So you know that this is, whole thing is positive y and dalam ni pun positive x. And so, it's going towards the first quadrant. It's going towards the first quadrant. Cuma the shape is different lah. So, if you look at this, the graph is going to the first quadrant. Because, this ini positive x. Dan juga positive y. Ah, let me zoom in. This is positive x. And this is positive y. Because of that, positive area of x, positive area of y berada di first quadrant. That's why the graph is going towards the first quadrant. As I said, towards, going towards the first quadrant. Cuma nya, the shape is different. The shape is from below, from below to the first quadrant. Dan dia sebenarnya mempunyai dotted line ni lah. Dotted line ni lah yang penentunya sebenarnya. Dotted line now, this is what we call as vertical asymptote pula. Vertical bermaksud menegak. Okay, asymptote dia, the dotted line now is vertically pula. Vertical, okay. Untuk log function, untuk logarithmic function, kena hafal bahawa dia punya asymptote, this is vertical asymptote, adalah x is equals to zero. Okay, di sini adalah line di mana x equals to zero. Yeah, you all should know that already. Okay, and this is dotted line meaning the graph cannot go through. Tak boleh, dia hanya menghampir sahaja, menghampiri sahaja. Tapi tidak akan menyentuh. Only approaching. Write it down, approaching. Approaching only. The graph is approaching only. The graph is approaching only but not going to touch the dotted line the dotted line is our limit okay that limit is very very important okay now the limit is um or is a uh, vertically pula so now let's draw the basic shape untuk soalan ni the graph is going towards the first quadrant okay graph akan pergi ke arah first quadrant tetapi mempunyai vertical asymptote Di mana vertical asymptote-nya adalah x is equals to 0. Okay, tulis macam tu. Itu adalah basic shape. Miss, Miss, adakah sama sahaja vertical asymptote dia macam ni? Vertical asymptote dia akan tetap 0 juga ke untuk semua graph? No, no, no. Tidak. The vertical asymptote akan berada di dalam ni. Okay, let me highlight this. This is actually our vertical asymptote. So, step kedua adalah vertical asymptote di mana 2x minus 3 cannot be 0. Okay, when it is cannot be 0, meaning x will not be equal to 3 over 2. So, this, this thing, the graph will not cross into this line. Okay, let's find out where is your 3 point, 3 over 2. 3 over 2 is somewhere here. Okay, and so you just do the dotted line. Oops, let me draw the dotted line. Yeah, the dotted line is over there. Ni ha, dotted line kamu. So, buat panjang sikit. And then label. Tolong label. Ikut je macam mana saya ajar. Follow, follow, follow. So, label it y is equal... Eh, bukan y. X is equals to 3 over 2. Label, label. 
Okay? Saya label setiap apa yang saya tulis Tolonglah tulis Saya bukan saja-saja cakap Saya minta kamu tulis juga Okay So X is equals to 3 over 2 is the limit This is the limit Therefore the graph is going Where? Alamak Tak muat lah guys Let me Bring this To where? Let me bring this Sini boleh ke sementara? Step 2 ya yeah? Oh, I just put it here. Step 2. Uh, okay. Okay, now. Now where we can sub in. Uh, no, when we can lukis. Kita lukis. The graph is going to the first quadrant. Yeah, our graph is looking so nice. To the first quadrant. Oh, can it touch the dotted line? No, it cannot. It must not touching the dotted line. Okay, it's only close. Two. It's only menghampiri sahaja Sebab tu lah kita dok lukis uh, Dotted line tu Dotted line bermaksud graph tak akan menyentuh dotted line That is the limit That's why we always do it Okay Miss, kenapa it not equal to zero? Because whenever you sub in Whatever number dalam lawn Okay Whatever number dalam lawn it must not be equal to zero. Kalau lon zero, cuba tekan lon zero. You will get maths error. Nota tambahan lah eh. Lon zero is maths error. Okay. Lon zero is maths error. It's undefined. Sebab tu lah, saya tahu untuk step kedua saya, saya mesti letak not equal to zero because... Memang dalam ni tak boleh equal to zero. When I know dia tak boleh equal to zero, di situlah limit dia berada. This is what we call as the limit. Ha, the graph boleh lukis takat mana? Takat takat menghampiri saja. Ha, itu yang dimasukkan not equal. Alright. So now dah lukis, bolehlah cari intersect. Intersectnya dekat mana ni? Dekat y zero. So, y is 0. When your y is 0, when your y is 0, jom kita kira sama-sama. When your y is 0, your ln 2x minus 3 kan? So, now exponent both side, you akan dapat 1 is equals to 2x minus 3. So, your 2x is equals to 4 and your x is therefore equals to 2. So, you boleh Tulis x intersect kamu dalam table. So, labelkan juga your 2 at your graph. Okay. This is your x intersect. You mesti cari dan you mesti label. And this is your fx is equals to ln 2x minus 3 dalam bracket. Tolong eh. Dalam ln mesti ada bracket. So, now, yang ini pula when x is 0. When x is 0, this is apabila x 0 kan. Ada tak graf warna merah berada di sini? Tak ada kan? So, kalau tak ada, tolong tak payah cari. Tolong jangan cari. If the graph is not pada x is 0, this is where the area of x is equals to 0. So, ada tak graf pada sini? Pada area ni? Tak ada. So, kalau tak ada, jangan cari. Jangan cari. Cari yang perlu sahaja. Okay? This is when your x in x is uh, this is when your y is 0 so when your y is 0 your x is 2 so you only cari yang perlu sahaja okey dengar cakap miss yang perlu sahaja yang cari intersect yang tak perlu jangan cari so now we go to the domain the domain is from uh miss akan explain range dululah range is actually the graph is going from below menghampiri tau Kita tak tahu dari ke mana dia pergi Tapi dia dari bawah lah Dia dari bawah tak tahu dia dari bawah dari mana And so we call it as Negative infinity until Positive infinity From below to the above That is the range The range is from infinity to infinity Negative infinity to infinity Tapi kalau Domain, domain dia Ada limit Domain dia boleh takat graf tu berhenti dekat Dekat mana? Dekat menghampiri 
x is equals to 3 over 2. So, 3 over 2 adalah limit dia. 3 over 2 adalah limit dia. And then, dia tak inclusive. Dia tidak inclusive. And then, dia pergi ke arah atas ke positive infinity. Okay, so the limit is where the domain dia, the domain dia adalah 3 per 2. The graph is can only close to the graph can only getting close to approaching 3 over 2 sahaja. The graph akan menghampiri 3 per 2 ni sahaja. Tapi tidak akan menyentuh sebab tu kita letak dia open bracket. Okay and so that's its domain. Let's go to the second example. The second example here is uh, ln 3 minus x. So have a look at this basic shape. Okay, have a look at this basic shape. The basic shape dekat sini macam mana nak tengok? So, here you know this is negative x and here is positive y. Remember, this is your y. So, dekat dekat graph uh, quadrant yang keberapa dia akan pergi. Uh, so, negative x is on the left. And positive y is above. So, it's right. Uh, it's going to the second quadrant, guys. The graph is going to the second quadrant. Macam mana Miss tahu? Macam mana Miss tahu? Boleh tak Miss nak delete ni? Bukan nak delete, nak kecikkan je. Kecikkan, kecikkan. Nah, kecikkan sekejap, ya. So, yang ni sepatutnya berada di sini. Untuk soalan yang atas ni. So, Macam mana Miss tahu yang dia akan pergi ke second uh, quadrant because ni kan negatif. Negative x, here also negative. And here is positive y. Here is positive y. This thing is positive y. So this is positive area of the y and the negative area of the x. Okay, and the graph is going to the second quadrant. Second quadrant. The graph is going to the second quadrant. So, let me draw it. The graph is going to the second quadrant. Tapi dia mesti ada limit. Limit dia pada mana? Limit dia pada asalnya adalah x is equals to 0. The limit is at the function of x is equals to 0. And then, and then, the thing is, miss, adakah dia punya, apa ni kita panggil, horizontal asymptote dia masih sama? Tidak. Step 1, step 1, you find the basic shape. Basic shape dah cari, settle. Okay, basic shape masih basic, mestilah pada x is equals to 0. Horizontal dia, asymptote dia pada sini. Tapi, tapi, soalan kita, Bukan ln x. Soalan kita specific. Soalan kita ada sesuatu dalam ni. Ada sesuatu dalam bracket. And so the second step will be having a horizontal asymptote di mana 3 tolak x is not going to equal to 0. Dalam ni tak akan jadi 0. In this bracket, the ln cannot be 0. If ln 0 is, is undefined, that's why we are going to find its asymptote saying that Oh, asymptote dia pada x is equals to 3. And so, dekat mana x is equals to 3? It's over here. And so, what you got to do is just find the dotted line. The dotted line is over there. Ta-da! And then you label. You label. This is your x is equals to 3. Step 2, cari asymptote dan label. Okay? Cari asymptote dan label. Very easy. Oh. Okay. Now, dah cari asymptote, barulah kita boleh lukis. Lukis mengikut basic shape tersebut. So, lukislah daripada dotted line ni going up. Ah, lukis, ikut. Going up. Ah, nasib baik jadi. And then going to the second quadrant, then label fx is equals to ln 3 minus x. Terus label. Okay? Uh, cumanya, step ketiga, kita kena buat cari 
a sim to eh, ca eh sim to pula. Carilah x intercept and the y intercept here. Okay, kena cari intercept. Intercept ada markah dalam exam. So, carilah intercept mereka di mana x is 0. When your x is 0, your y... Let me write down nicely. When your x is 0, your y is long 3. This is long 3. Okay? That is when your x is 0. Tapi kalau your y is 0... When your y is 0, your x is what? Let me find it together with you. So, exponent kan dia both side. You akan dapat 1 is equals to 3 minus x. So, x is equals to 2. Here goes your 2. So, letaklah 2 dekat dalam table. So, step ketiga dah cari intercept. You are good now. You dah label dengan sangat cantik. Shape you cantik. You boleh pergi ke? Carilah domain. Your domain dan range. Range saya terus boleh nampak. Range memang daripada bawah ke atas. Negatif infinity sampai infinity. Tapi kalau domain, domain dia ada limit. Limit dia pada X. Jadi X ni mesti dekat domain. So X dia, X dia adalah 3. Okay, domain limit dia adalah pada 3. So 3 lah limit dia. Tapi dia datang daripada negative area. Daripada negative infinity from the left to the right until stopping at the tree. Stopping at tree. And so, mesti tak akan sentuh tiga. And so, the open bracket. That is how easy you find your domain and your range. After you dah lukis dengan kemas dan jelas. All the best.